Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Spongebob Movie Game. Last time we uh, got here to this Goofy Goober area and got some more Goofy Goober tokens, but now we're going to cartwheel our way to this room. Ow! Get out of here. There you go. There you go. Oh! I died? Well then. I guess it works in this room because I can, uh not recollect all those again. Alright, well, I'm about to be eligible for another upgrade. So. Let's do that. Boop! 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 Alright, well, let's just scrape this area squeaky clean of all the, uh, muscular objects. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna call them muscular objects. That's the name I've come up with for them. Alright, they give me tens. Multi smash! Alright, sweet. So now if we hit Z, we can see these uh, upgrade thingies, which, uh... I'm gonna upgrade the Karate Spin for Spongebob so that he's a little more powerful. Uh-huh. And then I'll upgrade the, uh, Star Spin for Patrick, because, you know, I may as well just have some full-powered stuff right out the gate. Because, uh, you know, that helps. Especially because projectiles get reflected. So, yeah, whatever. Alright, so now we're in a room with a, a pretty slippery floor. Because literally everything is chocolate and whatnot. <laughs> you know, but I think this is just um, Patrick's imagination through all this. It's not like the place actually looks like this. Like, this is probably just a bunch of freezers, but... Patrick is imagining it, imagining it to be ice cream. This is all in the mind of Patrick Star. Right. There we go. We got an extra. Also, I'm pretty sure this game is also a master of dickering. Just like robots is. Uh, yeah, because you are, Patrick. <laughs> well, I mean, he's not actually walking on ice cream, you know. But then again, that could just be my theory, you know. I mean, they don't... I mean, how much of Goofy Goober did we really see, you know? Oh no, my arch nemesis, Broom Dudes! <laughs> the broom is mightier than the sword. It's a mighty broom. There you go. Fuck you. There you go. Collect this thingy. Sandwich driving, 101. So there's three level types in this game. 
There's the regular platforming stages that we just saw. And now there's driving stages. I don't know if next is a slide stage. No, it's not. Sorry, I found the paddy wagon. With cheese. I absolutely loathe these levels. Basically turning on the paddy wagon, it's oh, it's 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 delayed. So much destruction. I mean, cause when you try to turn the, the paddy wagon, it just It just simply doesn't, you know. Usually, it just will not go the direction you want it to. Alright. So let's go in here for a little shortcut. Uh, pressing R will activate your uh, nitros that you collect. Which, G, a racing game that allows you to use nitro boosts to get ahead? Where have I heard that before? Before. Uh, crash team racing. Okay. No. Alright, whatever. No! I missed the crates! Never look. Never hit the crates. I always miss the crates. I still fail at it. Alright, let's take the upper road. Just because I said so. Never mind, it doesn't matter which path you take. They're both the same. Why are plat why are buildings falling apart? Nope, that doesn't do anything. Does this building do anything? It does something. Okay. Let's go in here. Let's go into this building. Bulgu. Alright. There we go. We got an extra. There we go. Oh! You wouldn't believe how many times I've fallen in that thing. Nope. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Whatever. This level goes on for an exceedingly long period of time. Okay. Just remember what Mindy told me. I am driving a fucking sandwich. There we go. There we go. So anyway, you get a goofy goober token, but uh, those other challenges. Those are the one reason I do not want to try 100%ing uh, this game. You know what, actually? Fuck 100%ing this, I don't want to do it. I'm just going to try to beat this one because it's like... Three thousand miles to Shell City. <laughs> yeah, Squidward could have saved everybody if only they taught him karate sooner. Maybe. Just maybe. 
So this is a platforming level. In a desert. Okay. Cool, I get to be a Shoryuken. Now I am the master. Wow. There you go. Those radio towers are broadcasting places, hypnotizing messages. You already said that. Dangerous desert that no one has ever returned from? Uh, no. I think that's the desert next to this one. Oh, well, in that case, I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy. Alright. So now I have metallic gloves. And also, these people are still laughing at me. Stop it. <laughs> Shorty again! Yeah, you'll you'll be amazed how little like the old powers are used. Okay. Hey, it's a return of the floaty guy from Battle for Bikini Bottom. Alright, so he's kind of like Chuck from the last game. And if you know anything about Chuck, I fucking hate Chucks. <laughs> Chuck's the worst. I think that's just my- well, he be- Yeah, I think his entire purpose is just to be like Chuck. Which I fucking hate Chucks. Yeah, forget it. This guy is not cool or interesting. He's just a fucking annoyance. There. Let's see if we can um get another upgrade. Shot are you can There we go. Alright. Which at that point I'll upgrade the um I don't know what I want to upgrade. Oh, wait. oh, check this out. Hashtag nope. <laughs> Straight hashtag nope. <laughs> Alright, there's a radio tower. Which I'll get rid of that. There we go. 5,000? Ugh. Oh, shut up. There. Thank you. Cool. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Who is he trying to be? Crack Bandicoot? Alright. There we go. Hmm. So do I want to fully upgrade the bash or the cartwheel? Or do I want more health? Okay, so that's a landmine. Damage anything. Hmm. I don't really like the right the uh, explosive bash because it's just annoying to work with. So whatever. I guess I'll give SpongeBob more health. Four Krabby Patties. There you go. There you go. There you go. So uh. Heck, he even mind controlled the jellyfish. Which, this was completely unnecessary. Because the jellyfish were neutral in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Like, they didn't want to be a part of the war, but now they're a part of the war. They, they were mind controlled to be a part of the war. 
Where is that guy? Where, where'd he go? He straight disappeared. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a good place to stop it. We've got all this level ahead, and I don't know how to play it. So, next time on the SpongeBob Movie Game, we're going to play through the rest of this desert and see if we can get to the first slide level. So, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.